<laughs> but it's close to Jamshin. It's close, it's close. The Latte Tower is really close by, and then the Olympic Park is really close too. It's a really, really pretty place. Mm -hmm. And we're here at Rooted. So this is a vegan restaurant. It's fairly new, and it's a pretty small place. It's owned by just one person. She literally does everything. And this is your first time. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> I live very, very far away from here. And I'm adventuring over to the east side. Yeah. Give yourself to the dark side. So I've actually been here a few other times and I just like fell in love with this place. I always want to support small vegan businesses, but this actually became one of my favorite restaurants. So I was like, Lord, you have to come here. And I want to introduce it to you guys. So here we are. Let's eat. <laughs> Yum. I love that it's purple on the top, it's so cute. Yeah, so I actually ordered this before you came because I was doing some other stuff here. And this is the lavender chai with oat milk. It is so tasty, right? You'll like, see my reaction. I saw it and I was like, mm. <laughs> It's a floral tasting and it's spicy too. I really like this. I got this every time. So it was like lavender chai. It's so rare. Mm. Did you get mm. soy? Mm, you got oat. Always oat milk. I prefer oat milk. They have mm. it. Me too. I feel like this is really unique. Lavender chai. Mm. It's a good combination. It's really good. Because the chai is like spicy and the lavender is like floral, so it's a really nice color. Mmm. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah, so we also ordered the. Kind of loud. We also ordered the Jeju carrot and the grilled cheese. It looks like a stew kind of. Situation. Okay, so I think it's like sourdough. <laughs> You're like, so you want to eat? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's sourdough, and then they have this, I think it's cat made of cashew cheese, oh. and then they have garlic in it, a kind of carrot mix, and then they have these homemade vegan meatballs, meatballs as well. The whole chunks of garlic though. Yeah, the whole chunks of garlic, and then it has some dill on top, so it literally just like packed with so much flavor, it's so good. And then, sorry, I know you're hungry. <laughs> and then the grilled cheese, which has tomato, and then the cheese is actually homemade. She makes really? it. Yeah. And then it comes with a nice little side salad. So yeah, it's very delicious. So yeah. let's eat, let's eat, and get your reaction and see how good it is. I had both before, but meh, I'm literally what I see. <laughs> this one is like, ooh, it's hot. Now let's try the grilled cheese. Vegan grilled cheese. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't burn yourself. Cheesy. <laughs> not burning yourself. Mmm. I love it because it's homemade cheese. So it's not as heavy, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's what really good. Like? And it's like really melty too. Well, I know you eat cheese, but you also I've like had vegan cheese. cheese as well. If you I eat a like lot, usually. it has a lot of like oil and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if I eat a lot, I feel like a little bit sick. Yeah. With like homemade vegan cheese, I don't feel sick. That's it's really good. good. And the really other vegan cheese I've had, I've tried to make grilled cheese with it. It was such a flop. Mm. Because they're not very good at melting. Mm. But this is like already melted. Mm. It's so good. And I'm literally gonna spill it all over myself because you guys know <laughs> what I'm like and I spill everything. <laughs> so I'm being very careful. Why can't I just eat like a person? It's all right. Mm -hmm. I'm so clumsy. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Clearly. I took my split off. But yeah, my finger's still messed up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so it has basil, tomato, caramelized onions. And the vegan cheese. Basil. 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 But the bread is really good. Mm. Just, wait. Just wait until you try this. So, shall we try this one? I don't even know where to begin. So, is it like the bread? And yeah, the, the bread, just carrot, everything. A bit of bowl, a bit of bread, carrots. I just, I don't even know what it is. It just looks amazing. Just... It tastes like roast dinner. Yeah, 
No, it literally has like some nostalgic taste to it because there's so many like taste that rice dinner. Western flavors, right? Oh my god, it tastes like a Sunday roast. It's like a Sunday roast in a different format. Mmm. You know, shredded carrots. Mm. I see lentils. I that bread is <laughs> I love bread. So here's the meat bowl. I think it has carrot in it. It has lentils. Oh, it has pearl barley in it as well. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna write this down. Remake it at home. Yeah. Why did we literally just do that in unison? That's so that. <laughs> Wait, hold up. We've been hanging out too much, Lauren. <laughs> no, that's actually creepy because there wasn't even a delay. But it just no, we were just like same time. But well, we did a different hot. I did this one, but I can't. Oh yeah, very can't. well. <laughs> but I wanted. <laughs> this is like Christina's <laughs> hot. <laughs> Anyways, so this salad is very, it sounds really good. Very tasty. It's like a fruit dressing. It's like a fruit citrus vinaigrette. It's sweet, it's tangy. Tangy. Here is the lettuce. <laughs> Lauren! Nice and fresh. More people need to know about this place. Yes. Come visit if you're on the east side. Even if you're not on the Even east side. Even if you're not, just do what I did and travel like one hour to come here. Yeah, it's it was worth, worth it. It's worth the trip. And the price is really good. This in the States, I'm telling you, would be $5 million. In LA, especially, $40. $40, 40 yeah. $40, this dish would be. And then, not only that, but you have to tip on top of that, like yeah. 20, 20%? Is this that would the be, tip now? I reckon about 27 pounds. And this is actually my favorite type of food because I don't eat a lot of fake meats mm -hmm. in process. Mm. I do every now and then, but it makes me feel sick. This is really good because it's just a dish that is vegetable based, plant based, but it's transformed into something like super flavorful. Mm. We like an flavor. flavor. We do like flavor. You don't know that song? Nope. Really no. <laughs> music. Oh, we that's good. I know, I'm good at it. I'm a <laughs> I only know boom boom bang music. Boom boom bang. And gangster rap. Okay, so shall we introduce our new food item that we have. We have the apple crumble parfait. Parfait. C'est parfait. C'est mm. magnifique. Ooh. It has vegan ice cream homemade with bananas. Bananas. And it has some crumble on top. It looks like some mint. And then also they have banana bread at the bottom. It's really warm. It's warm. And then they have some hot apple jam. I think it's jam, or it's like, you know, it's, it's like it's hot. But yeah, it tastes like the filling of apple pie. This is my favorite dessert in Korea. We gotta get a little bit of everything. That nice cream is just, yeah. So nice cream. Nice cream is bananas frozen. You mix it up and then it turns into this nice ice cream consistency. Don't drop it now. That beautiful consistency. Mm, it's fruity. It's fresh, minty. Sounds like a commercial. It's wait, wait. Perfect. Okay, let's see. What is our line? It's fruity, it's fresh, it's minty, and it's everything you want and more. It is Apple Crumble Parfait. I'm very grateful that you introduced me to this place. Yeah, it's my favorite place. I love it. So after this, I guess we're gonna take a walk around the lake and then maybe go to a cafe, maybe. Water nose! <laughs> Water nose! They are my Crocs. <laughs> I I'm came <laughs> straight out of the 1970s. <laughs> Actually, no, your outfits. I love it, I love it. I I'm just playing with you. <laughs> Today I'm 70s. It's cute. 60, I guess 70s? It's like 60s, yeah. 70s, isn't it? Yeah, it's cute. And look at the view. Wow. Hi, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> I live on the 130th floor. Oh, really? Actually. Of this building. Mm, wow. Yes. Actually, I live on the 151st floor, so. Wow. These outdoor places, yeah, they're giving European vibes. Yeah. Definitely. Harley, David. This is a Harley pop-up here. No way that it's never going there. I think
think you'd better run, I swear I'll follow you no matter where Yeah, that's right. It's well, not sticky. It's nice. I think that's why my um, allergies aren't as bad today. <laughs> the other day it was really bad. I actually went to Rooted the other day and I just had an allergic reaction. Like my eyes were just swelling up and they were so itchy and I was like, literally dying. But yeah, it's not that bad today. One of one, the tallest buildings. Yeah, this is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Is it taller than the Taipei Tower? I think it's the tallest I'm not sure. building in the Asia. Is it not? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> 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 Woo! Now it's my turn! No, it's <laughs> we're switching back and forth recording. We don't want the vlog to be the exact same. Uh, so we're trying to mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, but the the brightness, I think, is <laughs> your ISO is on way too high. I think it's on too high, but yes, we're taking a little studio. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to. <laughs> I'll fix it. I'll fix it when we go inside. Okay, yeah. Or now, I can fix it now. Do we fix it now? A few moments later. I think it's better. It looks. It looks better. Right? <laughs> yeah, right guys, it looks better. I'm still like ghost, but yeah, this area is really pretty. I didn't realize that the flowers were all nice and red here. Yeah, Ooh. might steal some and put them on a t-shirt. So this thing that if you like hammer flowers yeah. on like a white t-shirt or something, then it stains it. So you can like make your own oh, design. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna try it. Mm. So like these kind of flowers would be really good because they're quite like pigmented. Yeah. Maybe I'll try. Well, back in the day, that's how they used to dye things. Mm. They use like flowers and stuff, so it makes sense. Now it's all chemical. Yeah, I have very bad allergies, so I actually popped an antihistamine because I didn't want to sneeze. But you don't want to see me cry. There is no way that it's never going there. Nice. I think it better, I swear. I'll follow you no matter where. 